Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What the brother, what the brother's explaining is explaining right now is perfect understanding in the scriptures for the purpose of your life. Right. This is how we gotta live our lives as so-called black men here today on this planet. Right. You are a son being punished of your God right. because of your iniquities, brother. Right. That's why we're being killed. That's why we're being plagued as a nation. It may be hard to digest, but that's the program that God gave us, brother. Right. But you are a son of God, that's right. meaning you're a God yourself. Right. Y'all are God yourself, but I see you got fringes on already. Yes, that means the understanding is growing on you. Yes, now you got a responsibility towards your nation, brother. Yes, you understand? Give me the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2. Let me get verse uh, 21 real quick. I'm telling you straight. It's as easy as gold when you do the things that the Lord commanded you to do, brother. And our reward is that kingdom of heaven. Read this. Come on. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from thee. Listen, when you fashion in gold, when you're trying to purify gold, it got a lot of impurities out of it. Right. The punishment that's upon us in this nation right now that we live on is to purge us of them sins. Out. What's some of them sins? Hatred. Right. Murdering. Right. Theft. Right. Adultery. Get out. False witnesses. We have that amongst our nation rapid. Right. That's why you hear about black on black crime because we hate each other. Out, the Lord is punishing us because we don't know how to love one another in truth. We right. ain't talking about no hugs and kisses, no daggone marching for not. I'm talking about real love. Love, godly love. That's if right. you're doing the damn things that's going to get you in the kingdom of, 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 of Satan or get you to hell, guess what? I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get yourself right with God because that's a benefit for me too. You understand? I'm going to tell you how to get to the kingdom because when you know how to get to the kingdom, that's better for our nation. Bring it out. The nation starts with the so-called black man, right. the Israelite man, specifically the Judite brother. Right. The, the, the Lord chose you to be an example to your brothers, right. to your sisters, to your wife. Women. So if a man purge himself from these, these things that we got to purge ourselves from, it's sin. Right. It's sin. We'll put the dope down. We'll put the gun down and love your brother. Read, come on. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. And that's what you are. You're a vessel unto honor. You're that gold. But guess what? You got impurities within you, brother. With all of us, we ain't perfect. Don't get it twisted. We came from that same lifestyle. But that's why we can sympathize with the brothers right here. Because we We've been through it, and we know what it's like keeping these laws. Right. Connecting back to our power. That's right. If we want God to fight for us, stop being black. Right. Stop being coons and negroes. Bring it out. Stop doing what the enemy set us up to do after slavery. Right. You understand? Because how we act is a result from the slavery. Right. Purge yourself from these. Read. You'll be you'll be honored to God as a vessel of that honor. Read. Come on. Sanctified. Doing what? Sanctified. We don't know how to be sanctified. We think sanctified is in these churches Bring right up here in the three-piece suit. Right. And that's not the case with God. Right. To be sanctified is with your actions. That's right. If you know to do wrong and you do good, that's you sanctifying yourself. Right. Sanctifying yourself in truth, brother. Listen, I'm telling you straight. The angels in heaven are rejoicing right now because you took that hat off your head. Because you're listening. Because now you know the image that's within you is a perfect image of God when you keep your beard on your face. Right. Now there are steps after that. You got to transform your spirit towards God. You understand? Read on. So you want a power, right? You want you want a revenge from your uh, you want a revenge from the brothers that's being killed here on these streets? You gotta pray towards your God and keep the commandments. That's right. You pray for vengeance, like the brother explained to you earlier. We praying that the Lord judge this man according to his righteous indignation, meaning his fury, right. because he's evil towards us and we ain't doing nothing wrong on this planet. That's you understand? Right. The Lord said, "You shall be hated of all men's sake for my name's sake." Bring it out. You understand? You shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right. That's why we being hated. Jesus Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, the true image of him, he been told us. And now you're an example 
unto every good work. Brother, we telling you the general things you need to do as brothers. Join us, brother. You understand? Join us. And it ain't got to be right now because you got to learn first. We ain't pressuring our people, but you got to start somewhere. You understand? It start with, with whoever you know. The young men, women, brothers on the corner, whoever it is. You got to learn how to be an example to them men. And show them brothers. Show them sisters. Show them women. There's another way of life. It's another way of life than y'all had being on the streets. This ain't this ain't it for us. You understand? This is what they give us out of the slops of what they've given us from slavery. Read all. Come on. Flee also youthful lust. So it says, and if you want to be honorable, brother, you gotta flee youthful lust. What's them lust? Them things that plague us. That sin, the adultery, the killings, all them little things. It affects the nation. You understand? Because if you sleep around with a lot of women, and the brother next to you sleep around with a lot of women, what's the chances that y'all just slept with the same girl? You understand? And what does that cause? Disease in the nation. Give me that real quick. Hold that what you got from what I was saying. God said, remember what you, brother, you came up with a strong question. And the Lord going to give you a good answer. We ain't going we gonna, to we ain't gonna fool you. The pork shop pastor, we're not going to give you no blank answer. We're going to show you what you need to do according to the Bible to get yourself right. Now it's up to you. You understand? You get me? Come on, read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. When you sin, God judges you. He punishes you. This is one of them judgments. Read on. Come on. Also, every sickness and every plague. The Lord said, every sickness and every plague. Read. Which is not written in the book of this law. Look, AIDS ain't written in this book, but we get it. Gonorrhea ain't written in this book, but we get it. Syphilis is not written in this book, but we get it. He said, every plague that's in this book. Listen here. Listen here, bro. If you break God's commandments, this was the punishment or the judgment or the reward reward for your sin. You understand? I gave you an example. When you sleep with many women, you get a judgment from that. Because you're supposed to have a wife. You're supposed to have a family. One. But we choose to have multiple women. You understand? Thus you have AIDS or baby mamas. Ain't that a problem amongst our community? I wasn't I didn't grow up with my daddy. And a lot of us haven't. Now you got broken homes and orphans on the streets. You got a lot of bastards on the streets. I'm telling you straight. You understand? And we're trying to stop that amongst our community. We've been plagued with the Christian doctrine for years, and the result of that is marching. We tired of marching, brother. We tired of marching in sin. Why don't we march in righteousness? You understand? That's when God gonna defend us. We tired of the old pastors teaching these false doctrines and philosophies. It ain't working. You got many different churches in the hood and all this sin, and we still got sin. Ain't they supposed to fix the problems of the community? They don't do nothing. All they want is your dollar, and they trick and they trick and they trick men. Are these doctors? Read on. Come on, real quick. Also, every sickness and every plague, right, come on. which is not written in this book uh -huh. of, it, of the law, them will the Lord bring up upon thee. What are those sicknesses? Listen, right, right, right here, what we reading is the judgment for. Break. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day. Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. Are you on?